What's going on, guys? This is Cloud Yagami back with an underrated discovery I found. Yes, it may sound crazy since the manga has been out for a couple of years, but Tokyo Revengers actually exists inside a multiverse of different manga written by Ken Wakue. The reason you probably don't know this is because most of the other manga aren't nearly as popular as Tokyo Revengers, so you won't hear about it unless you are a fan of Ken Wakue's work as a whole. A lot of his manga are short, rushed, or haven't been officially translated for readers to view. So they are far more unknown than Tokyo Revengers. Most of the events in the TR universe take place in the past around 2004, 2005, and 2006. We get the first crossover between Mikey and the main character of Ken Wakui's previous manga, Desert Eagle, named Ichigo Washio a manga about a former delinquent taking down his ex-best friend who is falling into darkness, similar to Tokyo Revengers' dynamic. Mikey is shown fighting the same kid as Ichigo in his backstory of Chapter 263, which talks about Mikey hating weak people and beating up other self-proclaimed strong kids to prove to his hospitalized in bed mom that he was strong. Mikey is then shown beating Ichigo in another panel after hearing that Ichigo also beat the kid from East Elementary. Ichigo is from either the Shibuya or Shinjuku area, which Tokyo Manji Gang has control of after defeating the ninth-generation Black Dragon, led by Madarame Shion from Shibuya and Shinjuku, after beating Osanai and taking control of Moebius. Ichigo was a delinquent, but he was more of a lone wolf, so he never joined a gang. After forming Toman, Mikey was the last person to own a motorcycle, so he had to travel on a scooter moped, which made other delinquents not take him seriously. He was confronted about his moped by a gang called the Shonan Mermaid Wild Demon Rebels, who also made an appearance in Shinjuku Swan in untranslated chapters of 333, shown brutally beating a Yakuza member with a nailed bat, similar to the bat he wielded in Tokyo Revengers. This would mean Shinjuku Swan events takes place during the formation years of Toman. The homeless time traveler also makes an appearance randomly in the manga. Based on the timeline, he dies a few months after this, after being killed by Shinichiro Sano. Baji and Chifuyu attend the same school as Ichigo, as shown by their matching middle school uniforms, shown in both characters' backstory. Baji and Mikey are childhood friends and grew up in the same neighborhood and even both trained in Mikey's family dojo growing up. But they attend different schools now because Baji failed a grade and was held back and changed schools as a result. Mikey only goes to school for lunch, so it would be rare to ever see him. This last crossover is kind of controversial because the art styles and hair make it difficult to tell if these girls are the same person, but a female character who was addicted to male hosts appeared in Shinjuku Swan and Desert Eagle. While there isn't many parallels in the universe, there are still a few notable ones that are easily noticeable. At the end of chapter 35, after Tatsuhiko forgives Hideyoshi and tells him to escape, he is pushed onto the train tracks of an upcoming train after Hayama set up a plan to get him pushed onto the tracks, just like Takemichi was at the beginning of Tokyo Revengers. In chapter 204, Takamichi catches Mikey after he leaps from the top of a building. This is parallel to Ichigo Washio catching Apple after he was shot by Ten Kinemiya and fell off a building. In chapter 3 on 1 of Shinjuku Swan, there is another familiar location that appears when Seki is shown beating Mako with a pipe for his unforgivable betrayal. This is the same junkyard location in Shibuya of the Bloody Halloween fight which takes place October 31st, 2005. This last one isn't much of a parallel, but it's still a cool thing to notice. Chifu Yu and Mimi from Sekisei Inko have the same exact outfit on in the manga, meaning they likely shop at the same stores. Like I said, it isn't much of a parallel, but it was worth noting because Ken Wakui doesn't dress characters in the same outfits. As far as scaling goes, the characters to narratively scale around the same as the Tokyo Revengers characters. In Chapter 13, Ten Kunamiya is shown destroying a wall with a plastic dart he threw at one of his underlings he was tormenting. 
Other characters can have cinder blocks broke over their heads, get hit by speeding cars, and even wreck entire rooms with construction equipment without suffering a lot of damage. If you want a link to these Kenwakui manga, I will be placing the link to the site. I read these different stories on, so you can catch up on the multiverse lore. There is also a lot of similarities between Mikey and these characters, so just like Tokyo Revengers, if you're interested in OP strong but short type of characters, then you will enjoy Ken Wakui other manga. Thrayer is Kuromitsu Shishigami, who is the leader of the Lion Security Group, filled with skilled martial artists such as Chiyokuri, Hasaku, and Shu. There is also other characters that look almost identical, like Sanzu Hasanuma from Desert Eagle and Straf from Sekisei Inko. Daichi Kunimiya, brother of Ten. Kunimiya looks a lot like Shion Madarame from Tenjiku and Kiyoramo from Yotsuya Kaiden. Takamichi looks exactly like the main character of Sekisei Inko, Nana Kaneda and Diji. These are not parallels, but it doesn't hurt to point out these facts. Seven Kaneda is also the strongest character in the universe, and basically the god of the universe and the creator of Mikey's Dark Impulse. Originally called Bugs in Sekase Inko, they are basically powers that manipulate the five senses. Mikey's Dark Impulse has properties of a visual bug, which appeared in Chapter 231 when he visibly scared Kakucho with his murderous aura and projected a black tentacle monster, similar to the same monster Straf projected when confronting Seven for his immortality. There are other inverse characters who have bugs, like Kazutora, Tirano South, and Haizawa from Sekisei Inko, and I will be discussing this topic further in another video, so make sure to subscribe and share this video. The more likes this video receives, the faster. I will create the Dark Impulse Bug Breakdown to further contextualize how Mikey's powers work. Dark Impulse and in fact a superpower or multiplier. I appreciate all the love and support.